everybody. I see that we have uh, Charlene, Gwen, and Frank who connect with us. So uh, very happy to uh, to be with you today and with Emily and uh, Mark. Emily, I think you know a little about it because you came to see me and I. <laughs> there will be a repetition for you. So um, I'm Denise Giger. I am working at La Commission Scolaire uh, Lester B. Pearson as a pet consultant at the Further Adult and Career Center. So, um, and we taught with uh, Mark, who is here, who is a, a RIC a consultant. He, I talked with him uh, yeah, maybe one month ago, and he said to me, maybe it will be nice to, uh, you know, to, um, to start uh, to do a workshop on the, the funding for the for our uh, for innovating pet project. So I prepared something because I have a, some experience about it. And I thought that maybe I will try to guide you through, you know, we say in French, les, Ar les Arcanes, through this, that you understand how, you know, how to get the money and how to manage a project. So please feel free to ask questions as we go. Uh, Mark will uh, forward them uh, to me. And if there is something that I will talk, you know, I, I need to talk uh, five minutes after, I will let you know, unless I will gladly answer the question as they go. So do you have some question first or do we start? We start, no question. Okay, started. so I said everything you wanted to know about MEC Innovative Project funding, but were unable, unable to find. So I know that it's, uh, I, I am very positive and I'll try to explain it to you. I don't want to discourage you. I want to encourage you to, you know, to, uh, to, to have those funding and to, to, to build project. It's a lot of work, but very rewarding. So I'm going to try to guide you. I put in my, uh, I put a petit disclaimer in my, uh, you know, the presentation was created for today and uh, the information that may change according to the means. Sometimes, you know, because it's about funding, it's about budget. So I'm talking about the project that I did in the late year. I spoke with the lady, both lady at the minister. So I am up to date, but let's see if they have a lot of demand. So maybe the amount allocated can be smaller. You know, it depends on, you know, what they, what they receive. So let's, 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 I have decided to adopt an approach that uh, Mark uh, helped me to define. So uh, the approach, I, I call it the five W and H approach to information. So it's a way that journalists work usually. So they try to answer the question, what, why, who, where, when, how, and sometimes I have a which, which is a sixth W, but uh, I'm going to uh, approach all my slides are with one of those terms, and then I try to, to guide you. So it will be like a bouquet. I try to do, I do, a, I put them in an order that I think is okay, but you will go back and forth. And at the end, I think you will have an idea of uh, how we did it, how to do, uh, you know, how to find some funding. And, um, First, my first slide. So I say, who? Uh, who are we talking about? We're talking about the Ministère de l'Education. Uh, we are public school. So um, we know that there are no more me's, me's, males. We're back to MEC now. So um, the, funding, um, the funding came after, you know, they, they adopt the, the competency, the digital action plan, the DAP. We call it the PAN in French, you know, le plan numérique, and where there is 12 competency, and they've decided to support the plan numérique, the ministère, and to inject some money. So there was a lot of money injected in the first two years also for us to buy equipment, and this money is not available anymore. But I was lucky because I was working during those years and making projects so we could have the, the money to buy the equipment. And then now what they, they provide money for, they provide money for, for us to do projects and to propose some, you know, work with the teacher to develop some activities, online activity or synchron or asynchron. So all is, you know, attached to the DAP, the Digital Action Plan. 
Um, so what are we talking about? We're talking about funding to support and to help developing the 12 competencies. Um, there is an annual education budget that is published. Usually now they publish it and it's the document that we have covered three years, okay? And in the budget, you have all the, it, it is for administrator, you know, all the money that they use to run the school and the center. But there is also what they call budget measures. And those measures, we're going to look at them and I'll show you which one we can, uh, we can you know, apply for and to receive money. Um, before that, some money was recurrent and some was not recurrent. So as I told you, for the co first couple of years, there was a massive amount of money for equipment. And now it's more stabilized and they offer money for development, okay? So where, are, where can we find, uh, you know, that document where I would like you to see, you know, how to do it. So what you can do um, is uh, you can type in the Omnibox, we, me, we use Google, but you, you can type Regle Budgetaire MEQ and the document will be there for you. But also Mark will put uh, in the chat, I think, Mark. It will put you a link where you can find the document right away. So this is a petit uh, tutorial on how to do it. And if you do all this, you type Reg Budgetaire, you fall in Ministre de l'Education, you find the Reg Budgetaire, and then you open the document and it looks like this here. Règle Budgetaire de fonctionnement pour les années scolaires 221 until 2024. Sorry, that's my franglais. So have you ever seen that document? I don't know, Charlene, Gwen, or Frank, or is it new to you? If you have not seen it before, just make sure you check the, the, the Depot Legal page to make sure you have the one that was deposited in 2022, which is the most recent one, because there are myth, other versions floating around on the internet. So when, once you have uh, find the document, I'm going to guide you. We're going to go in La Table des Matières. It's a big document. I'm not asking you to read everything. I want to tell you where to go in the document. If you want to read it and to look at how the school are founded, you can see that. But it's, you know, here it's all the allocation, the étudiants en plein, they explain. Uh, it's quite, uh, you know, uh, not complicated, but uh, you have to, to be aware of all this. But here at Numéro 5, we have les mesures justement for activity educative. So this is where if you want to apply to receive funding to do some project pedagogic, this is where you have to look in the budget. Okay. So if I move to the next slide. Okay. So this is what I told you, the mesure 1500. And I did the translation. It says, you know, the they call them a family measure. There is, it's by number, budget measure. These measures, pro, uh, sorry, these measures provide the additional support for teacher and student. They apply to general education activity. I forgot to ask you if you're from a general or if you are from adult or from vocad. Me, I'm from vocad. I forgot to tell you, I was a cooking teacher. So um, they applied to general education, new sector, adult, or vocational training. So it's, you know, you can, you, we use the same, the same form, the same document to ask for the funding. So if I, I told you that you go in the table des matières, you find the mesure 1500, and then after you go down in the document, and you will find all the mesures 1500. So I'm going to, I prepare for you some screen capture from the document, okay? There is some, they call them family, they said, okay? So 1500, mesure 1500, there is the family of 15020, and there is three mesures. The mesure that we, I'm going to talk about, I put them in pink. I just want to tell you that if you look, because you know, here, it, they're all voc vocad, vo vo those allocations, I just want to tell you that 
the money is given, they call it accordé a priori, which means that the school board receive it, but sometimes they, they are allowed to use it, maybe not for other purpose, but to regroup it and let's say to, uh, to, uh, to create a post of a consultant or it's quite, you know, they, when, when it's a priori, it's the administration who decide what they do with the money and they can decide to put all the money only in that year. We've seen it this year. They did a lot of tutora in the school and they put all the money for those three measures in one. And, you know, in the school, we, we do that here. We have some tuta. So that's what they do. So what we're looking for, we're not for the allocation accordé a priori. I would like you, I put them in the, in the slideshow because I want you to know that they exist and you can talk with your administrator and say, well, well, did we receive the money for that? And sometime I was, I was about to see we're lucky. They will say, okay, yes, I received the money. I didn't know what we can do with it. And you can propose a project but it's in the hand of your administration and in the school board administration. We're looking for the measure where you can depot the project. So I'm just going to, to, to roll by my, uh, my slide. There is another measure with fréquent station and réussite des jeunes en formation professionnelle, but also it's a priori. There is 15060, Sensibility or reality autochtone, which is very interesting, but it's not my topic today. But I just want you to know that if you want to do project, this is with project. So you can look in the budget and after the table of content, they explain them one by one. They'll tell you, you can receive that amount of money. You have to do this, 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 and that. So I thought maybe you will find that they are interesting and you want to see. So you can, you can uh, look into them if you want. I put them in the slideshow. And then we arrive in the regroupement des mesures 15080, and there's one who is in pink. So this I'm going to develop later about la mesure 15081. I was uh, happy to present some project to the minister and I received it. So not me, but I mean, I prepare a project and I had two projects that I did in the past year. So I'm going to talk with you about them. So this is this measure 15081, it's for synchron activities. So, and then there is another uh, regroupement with Le Milieu 1510, which is very interesting. And this is project also, but it's not about pedagogy. It's about in your school, creating a dynamic of entrepreneurship and making project with your student. I know that in Chicoutimi, uh, with that money, they create a petit, um, how do we say that, like a vestiaire, you know, with uh, avec des vêtements usagés. Can you help me with that? Oh, it's uh, kind of a thrift shop, maybe? Thrift store, yeah, thrift store. Yeah, thrift store. They create it, and after school, twice a, twice a week, the students are operating the the you know, and they have a lot of étudiants international. And so the, that money served to do an entrepreneurship project. So there is a, there is a lot of, um, I know also that um, uh, some student will do the, there, sometimes there is project of garden or, or having making honey or that's very interesting, but it's not what we're going to talk today. But I, if you want to look at it in the budget, you will find it and you, it, you, it, it will explain to you what to do. So let's go to the next family where we have another project in pink. So as I said to you, we're going to, I'm going to discuss about two different projects. So this one is Technofad, Projet Novata. And um, it's about asynchron activity that we can do with the student. They really want us to develop and it's very uh, strict. It really see in the, when you do your pitch, you should not talk about synchron activity, you talk about asynchron. And this, there is a lot of money in this one and very interesting project. So for now, as I said to you, you know where to go in the book, you know, the government book, but us today, we're willing to look at those two one, 1581, 1582. Okay, so that's the two one who are called innovant and very interesting to uh, 
to work with the teacher. And when you go in the table of content, you just see the number. But when you go inside the booklet, you're going to see each measure is described. So here I have la mesure 1581, the description of the measure. So I'll let you uh, look into it. So it's in French. Uh, I was about to see, unfortunately, I don't know. And uh, they want to have some pratique innovante. And it's, it has to be attached to the développement numérique, you know, the, the, the DAP, the plan numérique. And it says here, la location is determinée en fonction des projets. So we do a project, there is a due date, there is form. I will show you where to find the form, how to fill them. And you wait for an email to accept it or not. So that's how it works. So they are very interesting, those ones. So I'm going to try to guide us to do that. So let's go now. And we moment. It was $50,000, but now there was so much $50,000 over two years, but now it's 20,000 for one year. So you do a demand and if it is accepted, that's the amount of money that you can have to work with the teacher at your school. And I thought you would like to see uh, a, dem a written demand. So I put EC, uh, both the demand that I present and that were accepted. I just make them more anonym. I remove my name and you know, but you will see, I thought you would like to see it. I did present my project uh, in French because I'm more comfortable, uh, you can imagine writing in French. So, but uh, there is, they receive the project in Francais or in English. They receive them all and the, the, you know, there is a committee and they judge which one will be, and there is always some money for the English uh, school board. So I'm not going to read them. I'm just going to show them to you and you will know that there they are. You know, you can, you can, you know, see the way I prepare them. So they're always asking for a, a brief description du projet. And you have to have a title also. So this one was the 21st Century Connected Cooking Lab. And you have to do your intention pedagogic. You have to tell which resource educative you will, uh, you, will, uh, you will create. And then you have to explain who is going to be part of the project. So I'm not, I'm just rolling it. And I know that if you decide to, to do a project, you can go back and look at it. The form, they vary from one year to one another, but it's almost, c'est presque pareil, okay? So, and then after they will ask you what will be the phase of your project. So we, we put an échéancier and we tell them how we're going to do it. So this is the project that we did. And then they ask for the budget. So if you if you're asking for I was asking for fifty thousand at that moment I think you have to tell them I'm going I need this I need that you know and you you make you make like a detail so we need we were looking for training we were looking for a lot of formation so there they are and also we we always I always put in my demand some money for the marketing with the school we try to do something and. This, um, it's good to know this measure 15081, you can spend some money on equipment, but only, not only, but it's not a lot, $1,000. So now it's 20,000. So you can say that you will buy equipment for $1,000. $1,005, and they're going to refuse your, uh, it says in the guide, you know. So you have to, if you want to do equipment, just put mil dollars. You can say it can be. A, you don't have to do all the detail, but you can say we, we will need a good microphone, a headsets, and you know you just and one thousand dollars. So um, a, uh, there is always a colon also for your center. Is your center 
will your center contribute? Will they, you know, um, if the minister is giving 20,000, will they put money to support the project? So the pro this project was the first time I was doing it. So I was not experienced, j'avais pas d'experience. So I did not even ask the, the, the school, but it's always good if your school can put some money. It's good in your demand. So, uh, and after that, uh, there is some criteria. You have to, to tell them, you know, if you, you uh, because when they do, they, they read your demand, there is criteria and they see if you reach a criteria. So you have to explain yourself, ex explain what you're going to do, what do you want to do, your project, okay? So this is one example and it will be available to you through the, through the, and also I did this, we did the second project, but I moved, I was a teacher when I did the, and, and here, no, I was a pet consultant. I think I moved to another school and I, uh, and it was like, uh, and I'll tell you, you know, I took my, a program of studies, I said, it was the 21st century connected cooking lab. So I called it the 21st century connect minister. They, they know what we have done before. And, and then I, and for your information, I put, you know, the form change. Sometimes there is a little changement. And then I, I put, I give you, you know, the, if you want to consult what I, how we organize the project, you can look into it. C'est la même chose. And here there is, the, there is always an échéancier and there is a budget. And that time when I present that, I talk with my director and I explained to her what I wanted to do. And I said, uh, will you support the project? So honestly, I thought she was going to tell me yes, $500. But she said to me, how much is the project? I said, it's 20,000, but she said, I will put around one third. So she said, the school will support the project for $7,500. Honestly, I think it, it helped to be accepted at one point because they look at it. So, but I talked to a lady at the minister and I said, how much money do they put the center usually? And she said, it's, it's not that much. She said, sometimes they put 1,000 or 500 or so I was, uh, lucky that my director you know was you know willing to put so much money and she did you know so it permit us to do more because we have money from the school and money from the minister so this is the second one the, the connected plumbing lab so i'm not going to to read it with you but just just that you know that in our slideshow that we're doing today, we have, uh, and this, we, we are still La Mesure 15081. So you have two examples, and you, you'll see. Um, now I'm moving to, I'll try, I prepared this morning to, um, to show you what we did. I thought you would like to see, maybe uh, I gave you the form, but I thought you would like to see what we have done so far. So I prepare a couple. I'm going to show you some example. And I'll do the same with the other mesure. I have some example for you and you know, I will, uh, I will share with you also my, uh, my, um, the demand, the, 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 the depot de project that I did. And I'm going to ask uh, you something, Max, sorry, I don't want to squeeze you because you've been involved in the first project that we did, you know, with the cooking project. Mm -hmm. And do you have something to say about it? Or uh, because as a teacher, you were like impacted with it or are you comfortable to tell what you did or am I squeezing you? Um, you are squeezing me, but I am comfortable with being squeezed. Uh, okay. So, uh, okay. Uh, I thought maybe you can, <laughs> because you were 
c'est comme si tu as bénéficié du projet. So I thought maybe yeah, Denise you was can a, tell was us a, a little uh, about that. Denise was a pet consultant when the 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 the, the connected cooking lab was uh, implemented, and I was a, a teacher then, also a member of the the TIC committee, uh, because I've always I like to use uh, technology in my class. It it was a it was the where the flip that allowed me to go through the pandemic and the shutdown and the remote teaching. Can you imagine? Try to imagine, guys teaching professional cooking at distance without being able to taste uh, uh, what the students are making, which is kind of always crucial. But I had practiced with the implementation of the equipment that was acquired then and the, the training that we got on the teaching practices I was able to like use, go from the traditional model where the teacher stands in front of the room does what the students are expected to do, then they go back to their station and they try to repeat what they've seen, use media, use tech, use tools, so they are more, they have more access from different angles to the, the, the notions and the practices that needed to be uh, acquired, the knowledges that needed to be acquired. But it was a big, big, Personally, it was a big change in my career, but it was also a big improvement in the way the students were able to access what we were trying to teach them. I think that's the main thing that I got out of it. So uh, what I want to say, so that project, it was about, uh, and we, we had the money, the massive money, some of money we installed in all the cooking, in all the lab, the cooking lab TV, and we have some iPad for the teacher, and you know, they could start teaching interactive, and I know that it's still rolling, so it was that project that I wanted to talk about. Uh, also, I said to you, we are uh, doing, uh, I'm going to show you, I'll try to show you what we have done so far with the project with the plombier, okay? So we have classrooms, so I'm just going to show you a couple of things that we did because it was very interesting. This competency is about, they have to know how to interpret a plan, a plombier, you know? And we're having teacher and they were doing it with plan de papier and everything. So I said, why don't we do it with the iPad and we have plan and I was very excited. And the, the guys, they said to me, are you crazy? Uh, and one of the, one of the teachers, it's a, a graphist avant, and he said, jamais, never, never, am I going to use an iPad? And why do you want me to do that? And it was a big, you know, <laughs> it was not very welcome. And now he's the, the advocate of it, you know, he cannot do it without it. So he, he adapted. So he did, uh, ça c'était quand même intéressant, you know, they put some plan for the students, the students are having plan, but they, they, they have, they read them with an iPad. And so we have set of plan, I'm not going to open them. And they have a questionnaire who tells them, you know, to interpret the plan. Uh, is the thing being removed from room B108 or is the thing being uh, in the existing floor plan from how many urinal have been removed or something like that. So the student, they have questions, they have the plan, they have to find the, the answer. They have to answer to the question, you know? And what he did, uh, Dominic, he did also, we have a correction key like uh, regular, you know, the answer are there at the end, but also, sorry, okay. Also, he did an interactive correction key. Do I have it here? Voila. So this is the plan. And, he, and on the iPad, it, it's even better. Everywhere where there is a, bit, a small yellow box or something, when the student click on it, it gives them, you see the, there is the answer or in the plan. And when you click on it, the, the answer go a little on the left. And the student, they adore that. They work, they work on their, they work in team of two. They have their iPad and then they give them the, they can check, you know, their answers. So it's very, very popular. The student like it very much. And it took a lot of time to do. So we had some money to do, you know, it was plumbing lab, but in plumbing, there is a lot of speciality. So we work a lot on the plan. And he built also, it's always a, it's one of my, um, how can I say that? Uh, 
the surprise for me, the wow moment that I had with the teacher is to see all of them, they have, you know, I didn't know he was a graphist and he said, oh, I'm going to do this. And he started making something, I was amazed, you know, so it's très interesting. So he did here, he prepared, he said, oh, I'm going to prepare for the student. <laughs> he prepared exercises like this, you know, so come a, they have to reproduce those plans. So they receive this and it works very well in the Google Classroom, in the iPad and everything. So they, they receive this. And then after the, uh, and then uh, he has some uh, correction key for them. Okay, so first they have to take the measurement without they do the plan. So there is a key for that, you know, to, to see that. And then after they, uh, voila, what does the plan look like? So we prepared it, we work on it. Uh, you work for four weeks on that. Very personally, I'm very, I know that also <laughs> to see what they have done so far. So what else? And then I have, we have a briefly, this is in general building maintenance because we, even in the pitch that I did, I talk about plumbing, but some competency are cross-curricular. So we, we develop some competency for the, we, we add some sketchbook on iPads also for students. And they had to, um, they had to take an object or a room or a piece of something and to draw it on the iPad. So those are a couple of examples that what the student accomplished. Here it's, a, it's the door, sorry, it's not in the correct way. So the student, you know, did the door, they take measurement and it, you have more freestyle sometime. And this is an electric board. So, and then one of the students, they have, they have the choice to, you know, they can draw whatever they want. So he took the screen, the computer screen and he did it. All this with the iPad. So we want the student to get used because they said in the industry now the iPad is used a lot. So this is, uh, accomplishment that the student did. And what else? I think I have one more. Oh, oui, ça c'est vraiment intéressant. They're all interesting. So we have a teacher in plumbing who is teaching, uh, there is an electricity competency. Uh, and this also I learned when, when I talk about the project, he said, well, I can prepare, he said, I, it's been a long time that I want to do some video to explain to the student, you know, the connection with the multimeter. And then I learned that in the other part of his career, he was working in the school board as an audiovisual technician. So he started making film. <laughs> it went so fast. But he's, he's more, uh, he comes solitaire. He doesn't want to be helped. He, he does that. So he prepares for his competency and the student like it so much. He's having some, uh, he prepares some, uh, those are troubleshooting example. And, you know, he, uh, he described the student to the, to the and then he put all the device that can be used and they have to test it. So he, he showed them, this is an example. He's going to use his multimeter pretty soon. He's going to take the, you know, and, uh, and then he explained what the problem is. And the student, he told them, he showed them, you know, he take the, you see he had the image of the result of the multimeter. So he does that. And then after, and there is no sound because he, like it, he likes it like that. He said to me, I don't want any music, any sound. They have to focus on the image. And then after they have a, he's on come a, a quiz to answer according to what they have seen. So he built the whole competency. We're very happy with it and with troubleshooting, control device review. And what he's going to do, if I go back to the diapo here, we bought with the, I told you that we have $1,000 that we can buy uh, some equipment. So um, we bought that binding machine for him. So now he's going to take all the, 
we, is going to do a booklet, an exercise booklet, and with the QR code, so the student can see the, the, the video. So we're working on that. We have to this. We have to finish it by the end of June. And I, I talked with him the other day. And he said, I'm ready. I'm almost ready. We're going to do the booklet. So even if it's a booklet, because there is QR code in it, it was accepted in our project. So those are example of the, the first measure that I told you that we have to do material that, you know, they, they do synchron material. And we receive uh, two, um, the next, um, the measure 15082, the same. I, I did the hyperlink for the form, the demand that I do. So if you want to go and, uh, and look at them, you will see how I fill the formula and what I put into it, you know? But just for you, I'm not going to look at it more than that. So if I go to the next slide, so we work with those two grants that we had, they're 50,000. And my, our director, she put 17,000 aside it. So we receive it two years in line. So we work on four competency the first year and four competency the year after. So it's computing support. So um, I'm going to show you this is a little different, this one, but we work with four competency, four teachers, and a specialist, uh, a ped uh, activity architect was working with her, with us. It was uh, Robin Long, and she was a very uh, a key person in that uh, project. And one thing, one thing that I want to show you is that also the minister is expecting us to share the material, you know, they give, they give us money, but there is a sharing process. So you have to think of your project and think that you will have to share it and think that we don't have all the same, uh, uh, dit ça? LMS, c'est ça? Learning? Yep. Uh, Management systems. C'est ça. So here in our school board, we are Google. So we built everything in Google, but maybe a school, we're the only school board, I think, English school board, Mark, we are having a, so if I share with another school board, they will need maybe Word document at one point. So we have to make sure that, to, you know, to keep in our mind that it has to be transferable. You, Denise, uh, you had a question earlier in the chat. I didn't bring it up, but now that you're talking about collaboration, I think it's, uh, it would be interesting to bring it up now. Can right. school boards present projects collaboratively? Can two school boards submit a project together? I'm sure they will love it at the minister because that's the spirit of it. Ça pourrait être bien de dire, mais even this year, we've done two years of computing support, just as an example. And the lady at the minister, the, the lady, uh, Brigitte uh, Lessard, you know, they have a lot, but they know what they're talking about. I mean, they know what's going on. She, um, there is an, so we did it for two years, sorry. And this year, another school board asked to develop computing support. And she said, call Denis Giguère, because you need not to develop the same competencies. So it's, it's, it doesn't answer your question, but I'm sure that two school board could twin and say, <clears throat> we want, a, a, we want a, a mesure and the other school board do a mesure where together we will develop, you know, this and that, you know? So I think that it could work. I realized that I forgot to show you that I'm going to think about it, but for the mesure 15081, there is like, a, if you go on their site, you can see the project of the previous year. There is a description of all the projects. So I'll try at the end to show you where to find it. I put it in the in my uh, in my PowerPoint. Denise, so I added a link like that from Learn, where they translate all the project descriptions, so they're all in English. Um, okay, I'll miss. So I stuck that in the chat. Okay, but for the the FAD project, the, the, the mesure 492, apparently they, <coughs> they don't have a record like that of all the projects. So when we saved our, uh, <clears throat> our document, 
in the system, you know, we have it by competency. And this is all the document, lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, that are produced. And this is what we share because we don't have the same learning management system. So I share with the colleague um, and with the minister, when someone is asking me about that project, we prepare, uh, I'm going to show you through that, you know. So keep in mind that on the folder, I have all the documents that are produced. And in another, uh, we did hyperlink because we use a Genially and Nearpod. Not everybody is using the same uh, system. So I'll show you what it gives when you assemble all the documents that are in the folder. So this is our way of assembling. So what we share with the school when they ask, we share the, the, the hyperlink and we share all the documents. So if you want to put them on a, uh, I don't know, on a team, not team, but uh, la suite, uh, voyons. Uh, one drive, you mean? Oui, c'est ça. You will assemble it your own way. Maybe you won't use a Genially because with the money we bought Genially license also. So you make your choice and we've decided to do it. But one of the teacher one, wanted to try Nearpod. So she did it on Nearpod. So we, we all do it differently. I'm going to show you what it gives, what, just to show you. And it's the same teacher I, we've been working with for the first year and the second year. So you'll see what they have done. C'est très intéressant. Let me start with competence bit. And she did a big, she did not do a 20 genially. She did the one here and her, she arranged it. And they all, we let them, uh, uh, use the template that they like and you know they, I think there is we need the space of even the teacher when they're working on it even if they're paid for it they need a, a space of uh, liberty so we didn't want to say we said we're going to do it like and genially but find a template that you like and go you know so let's see this uh, teacher so it's lesson by lesson and it's supposed to be our asynchronous lesson, so sometime in the afternoon. And here we have the lesson objective. And then you have activity by activity, you tell the student what they have to do. And the first year, we put some money to have a student uh, in the graphism who prepare the template for us. So they have to use the template. So we all use the same template. So. Activity one, there is a name, there is a, what will they achieve? There is an instruction, what they have to do. And at the end, you know, wrapping up, if you have to deposit it in the classroom or not, you know? So this is why we can share with all the other school, but everybody will organize the way they, they want. So this is one way. So see, it's one teacher who did it this way, just to show you how different it is, it's interesting. Ici, c'est un prof, uh, lui a choisi, he chose that, ce modèle-là. And he, I'm going to show you for this one lesson, uh, I think it's lesson three. And so, alors, il y a le résumé de la leçon, les heures, and then the activity. They have to install Windows 7 on the light machine. And then he has the objective and what the student has to do, you know? So, um, create user data. And lui, he, he did a lot of videos. So he did a, a video d'accompagnement, you know? And you won't be able, I'm just going to show it to you very briefly. Uh, you won't be able to hear the sound because it's, it was too complicated for me to find all, to organize all this. But if, if uh, uh, he does a description, and he explained to the student what they have to do because it has to be asynchronous. So you need explanation. He explained to the student what to do and then the student, they accomplish what they have to accomplish. And then they do the depot, the depot you know, it tells them when you are done with your work, fill out the section travail complet, work performed, just like you would like if you were working in the field. So that's another style. Et we have a note another teacher who did the computer optimization 
very nice template. I like this one. So those are the lesson and the description. Okay, and then if you go further for each lesson, let's see if they have to do a Linux programming common. Let's see, they do this here. They have the description here. They have a video where the teacher explain what to do. So it's very nice that genially we like it very much. And then they have to evaluate, to self-evaluate what they, their work. And more, more, you know, one more hour of work. And here, usually you would put a checkpoint at the end. So you see there, see, quand même différent. So this was for the FAD. Uh, so each measure is having a different due date. Not anymore. I spoke with the lady yesterday. They're going to, um, to, to present a project. You need a form. And there, there is a guide to help you to fill it. Me, I give you the form and the guide of the previous year. Usually, if you want to develop your project, you can start doing it in the old template. And when you enter it in the system, you uh, make sure that there is not a big difference and you copy and paste in the, and where do, we do, where do you do that? You're going to ask me, you know? Um, so now the date, uh, this year, it's pretty soon. It's going to be in around April 10. They will make the material available and you have four weeks to submit your project. I'm going to explain to you how to do that. The project, they are, uh, you have to put them in what is called Collect Info. Collect Info is a portal for administrator of the réseau. And each administrator is having a, a, a password and all the documents, they receive notification. So around April 10, if you work on a project, you can see to, to your administrator, did you receive the document collect info? They will receive a notification when, when the document will be available. So it's important for you to be proactive because even sometimes you have to teach your administrator how to do it. Sometimes they, you know, it's new for them. And when you will enter the data in the form, uh, they, need to, um, they need to be there because it's their account. So it's a partnership you know, when you do a demand like that. So, ici, je vous ai mis for la mesure 15081. You can, uh, in the Omnibox, you can find all the documents and uh, that's where it is. And all the project from the last year. So you can have this. And I put you the last year guide and the last year form. And I think I re-put the project here. So you can access and, uh, and find it. You know, everything is there on their site. You type. Mac pan in the Omnibox, and you, you have all this. Après ça, where to find the submission project? It's there. Uh, I said it will be in April and May. And what I learned yesterday that it will be for both projects now. So it's new. One project was more fall, and the other was uh, spring. But the one in fall, the FAD project, when you, by the time you receive an answer, it's the end of November. December, we cannot, you know how it is. We don't do anything. So it's very short. You, you just have six months. So they've decided now to do the, it's a lot of work for us when you want to demand, but they will take, you know, they will give an answer by the beginning of September. So you can start right away. So that's, personally, I agree with that, with that because it was not easy. So how to prepare your pitch? I, uh, I gave you, this is why I share with you some example of what we did. I, I share with you the form that I filled to receive the grant. Just, just want to give you some petite idea on, you know, I think that can help to put in your demand. I was told that, uh, by Madame Parisi at the Ministère that when they read the demand, they want it to be clear and to, she said they wanted to follow a thin red line. They want to see exactly, they read it and they understand your project. So clarity, clarity, clarity is very important. Me, I suggest that you make your center shine through what you, you, you put. You can say, okay, we've done this before. 
we won that prize, we participate there, the teacher are motivated, we want to do that. So you, you try to put something pers to personalize your demands. I think it's important. Or did you help the community? Or did you, you know, did you have a regional major assess? Maybe in your region, there is something that is important and you, you make it, you know, shine. Work on your project title. I think it, it has to punch. I think it's important. Talk about your students. I know that it's a demand, but it's only a one sentence here and there, you know? And use pedagogical vocabulary. It has to be solid, you know? You, you want to, to talk about show enthusiasm. Add a few quotes. That, that's my suggestion. You do whatever you want. Me, sometimes I put at the beginning of a category, I put a quote that will reflect our, you know? Show your team spirit, if you can put, you know, we, or like Mike said, like um, someone asked, and maybe you can see we're going to be two school boards, we're going to work together, or, you know, all the department will work for teacher, or, uh, or do you want to add to a project that already exists in your school? You can see we've done this, maybe not with a measure, but we would like to go further. Can you help us, you know? So, so it can be good. How to plan your budget, you can look in the form that I show you. As I think the center contribution is important, so you have to do a partnership with your, uh, with your administrator and see if they can support the project. Moi, je crois que c'est important. And how to submit your project. I'm almost at the end of my time. Uh, you have to think that you, there is only four weeks, so you can start preparing in the old form when it, it arrives. I suggest that uh, it takes time the first time you do it, you know? So it's good to don't, don't wait the day, the way before it's the end, you know? It's not going to work, honestly. So you copy and paste your project in the, in the, in the collect info, and you can save and continue the day after. That's what we did the first time, you know? We did a couple of things, we save, we print, we look at how it looks like, and you can continue, it stays in collect info. I suggest that you submit the form at least one week in advance. So if there is, if they are, they are in for four weeks, the third week it's good to submit because there is also some notification at your school board. Your school board has to accept it. And if you do it, I've done it. I'm always at the last moment. I've done it sometime on a Thursday, but it was <laughs> quite very rocky. So because the school at the school board, there is someone that have to say uh, yes. So if that person is in a holiday or a vacance, ça marche pas. So be careful with the time. Follow up with your administrator also to make sure that the demand have been approved. Um, and also it's good for you to know who at the school board is in charge of saying yes. <laughs> you understand what I mean? Your administrator is with you. You do it in Collect Info. You submit, but who is going to do yes and it's going to go to the... Me, I didn't know, now I know who it is. So sometimes I call her in advance, I tell her we're going to submit and it, it easy the... What to do if your project is accepted? I suggest that you send an email to say thank you, try to build good relationship with the minister because one of the project, the second project that I had for FAD, I didn't know the due date one year, I missed it. I called them and she said to me, it's too late, Madame Jigar. And I said, oh, I'm so sorry. And then, they called me two weeks after they said there is some money left. Do you want to do a project? So I think by having building good relation with the person, it can help. And then you have to pilot your project. I'm rushing, sorry. You have to, uh, so you need uh, me, I give me the title of a project manager. You made very fun of that, but someone has to be managing the project. And uh, you, you have the teacher, you, you, they are your content specialists. It's good if you include them, even when you prepare the project and they really want to do it. Start as soon as possible, because if you, when you, it takes time to do that. Uh, and make sure also this, I miss it the first year that the, the, the person who are, if they do video or something, everything will go to the minister. So it's better to have your, uh, your teacher sign, a, I don't know, call, not a release, but about, you know, l'image and the, the copyright and everything. If they accept to be part of the project, be proactive and make them 
if they, if you, you can only take person that accept that, you know. And at the end of the school year, in June, mid June, they want you to do a report. It's not very thick, so the, maybe a couple of pages. Um, support, you know, usually I do it as I go and you send it to them. And um, voila, see me as a project manager, what I find was very challenging was the time management. Preparing the demand is, is demanding. Writing the report, well, not so much. 